welcome to the next part of my playthrough of the Blackwell Convergence. Um, if you hear some weird noises in the background, it's because my fiance is here and he's playing other games, but it's quiet, so hopefully it shouldn't interfere. Bye! I feel stupid for saying I like that. <laughs> This is just the fire exit. If I need to leave... Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kinda swamped, but okay. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? No, sorry. Thanks, Josie. I'd better get going. Sure, Rosangela. I'll see you at the opening tomorrow. Come in. Oh, hello. Again? Oh, Ilsa, you're back. Make yourself at home. You always do. Cute cat. Thanks, but she's not mine. She was Frank's. Just between you and me, she's not very friendly. Cute cat. Thanks, just between... Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Sorry, no. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. Hey, kitty. Ouch! She scratched me! Careful. That was Frank's cat. She's a mean one. She's a little black cat. I don't recognize the breed. She's wearing a little collar with an ID tag. Look at the way she's staring. It's sometimes easy to forget that animals can see me. Hey, little fella. She's a little black cat. I don't recognize the breed. She's wearing a little collar with an ID tag. What does that ID tag of yours say? Oh, damn it! Hey, little fella. All right, Elsa. Let's see what's on your ID tag. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. Nice view from up here. Please don't close the window. There's a reason why it's open. Locked. Key? Who needs a key? How's it going there? Oh, just fine. Almost got it. Uh-huh. Any second now. Damn it! What happened? The paperclip broke. It broke? It's jammed in the lock. We couldn't get a key in there now even if we had one. The master criminal at work. Once again, it's up to the dead guy to sort things out. Be my guest. Looks like a film script. Looks like Frank was a collector of old film reels. I wonder what he played them on. It looks like a still from a moving picture. 
I think I recognize Frank in the background. It's a poster for a romantic comedy. Looks like our boy Frank had a supporting role. It's a movie poster. Looks like hard-boiled detective schlock. Frank Lyons starred in it. I don't recognize anybody in those photographs. Looks like a poster for a B-grade Arabian Nights flick. Frank Lyons has got top billing. Frank's television, cold and silent. Oh, sweet, a ball of yarn. For the cat, I guess. Maybe Frank had a cold before he died? At least I hope so. I don't want to think about what those tissues were for. Does it want a hug? I can't do anything with these except look at them. Looks like a film script. You sure this guy was in pictures? He didn't even have a hot tub. Was he supposed to? If I was in pictures, I'd have a hot tub. Well, naturally. Although, I did find something interesting. What? There was a piece of paper just lying on a table. Do you remember what was on it? Of course I do. Sounds like a film script. Probably the last thing he worked on before he died. You ever hear these lines in a flick before? No. I haven't gone to the movie since, well, you. Eh, makes no difference. It's probably not important. What about me? What about me? Okay. Hi again. I knew you'd come. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. I'm not going. Not going? What do you mean you're not going? I said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with, um, Tom. Tom? Tom? What's that idiot have that I don't? He's, uh... He's a good man, Zack. And he needs me. And what about me? You don't need me, Zack. You never did. Huh? That's not in the script. Wait. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about this. this. Just forget me. Be free. Yvonne. Wait! Yvonne! Yvonne! Yvonne? <laughs> Alright! Finished. Finally. Hey, Monique, when's the rap party again? Monique? Where is she? Where is... everybody? Hey, come on, guys. This is weird. Where did everybody go? We done? Can I go now? Frank? Oh, Rebecca, thank God. We just finished the scene, right? So where did everybody go? I'm not Rebecca, Frank. What? Of course you are. Only Rebecca could have finished the scene. Something's not right. Something is not 
Right. I was here, filming the scene. Something happened. Here it comes. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. I'm a ghost and I'm haunting my last film shoot. That's so... cliché. I'm sorry, Frank. I really am. So what now? Just relax and take a hold of this. Okay, do it. Ow! I gotta work on my landings. It's so bright. It should hurt my eyes, but it doesn't. I don't think it's real light. I'm not sure what it is. It's beautiful. Just head towards it, Frank. That's all you need to do. You know, my very first acting role was a ghost. I was eight years old. We put on a Halloween play in the third grade. I played Scary Ghost Number Three. Funny the things you remember. It wasn't a bad life, was it? I might not have made it big, but I made it somewhere. How many can say the same, huh? Not many. No, not many. I've had a pretty good run. If it's my time to go, then it's my time. I just wish I knew who choked me to death. Yeah. Wait, what? You weren't choked, you had a heart attack. No, I was choked. I remember it distinctly. The news reports all said it was a heart attack. No disrespect, but I think I know how I died. The large hands around my neck? You don't forget a thing like that. Why would the press lie about how you died? I don't know. You'd think that they'd love a story about a murder. Funny, it doesn't even bother me. I think I'm ready to go. Wait, hold on a second. No can do. I gotta fly. See you around, and thanks. Just a few questions! Damn it! Huh? Uh... Hey, what the... I'm warning you. You? No, it can't be. I can still help you. Oh, you're dead, aren't you? So many dead. So many glide upon the earth. Tell me something I don't know. Did you kill Frank? I helped him. I get no thanks. You want me to thank you? How about you buzz off? I can help you. You are still in pain. So much pain. No way. Not again. This ends now. Why do you resist? Resist? I'll show you resist. I see you. I know you. You don't know Jack, lady. Get off me! Joey? Clear off, kid. Get back. It's her. After all this time. Hey, you stay away from her, you hear me? I... I'm sorry. Joey, who was that? <sighs> Trouble. Well? Well what? Who is she? Her. She's nobody's sweetheart. Just some spook. She attacked you, Joey. Why did she do that? I have no idea. You think I've got all the answers? Well, you're wrong. I'm just in the dark as you are. Don't you're her. lying. You recognized her, and she knew you. Tell me, Joey, please. <sighs> yeah, I know her. She calls herself the Countess. She's from an old case, back when I was with your aunt. She was alive then, and just as crazy. Tell me. Look, it's late. You want to be up all night or you want the short version? Okay, there's a pause point. My favorite character is the dead guy, and the whole time I've been like, yes, he's already dead. Now they're fucking dead. Uh, your favorite character is going to die anyhow. <laughs> the tradition continues. Back in just a moment, everyone. Sorry for the cut. So, I have a curse of. Oh.
all of my favorite characters and everything that I read or watch or enjoy dies. And I love Joey, he's like spunky and cool and I like him lots because he's got a lot of attitude. And I'm like, yes, he's already dead, there can't be anything that could possibly happen to him. I'm gonna swear here, fuck you, Countess, I hate you so much. <laughs> Why? Why in every one of my games can my favorite character be messed with? And apparently my swearing at her coincided at a really good time with the game that my fiancé is playing, so okay, here we go. Tell me everything. We thought she was a raving loony at first. We'd see her on the street, ranting like a crazy woman. We were investigating these two ghosts. Both had been killed by an old woman. Didn't take much deduction to put two and two together. So she was killing people? Not exactly. She thought she was freeing people. You see, she was a medium. A medium? Like me? Like Auntie? Yeah, only she didn't have a spirit guide. There was this reporter, Joseph Mitchell. Somehow they formed a bond. He didn't know it, but whoever he wrote about, she would go and kill. She was freeing their spirits, which is what you mediums do best. But they were still alive. She didn't seem to realize that. In the end, she tried to free your Aunt Lauren. So, we stopped her. You stopped her? How? We just did. So what now? Her spirit is seeking revenge? I don't think so. Why now? Why all this time? Besides, I saw her die. There was no ghost. So she's not a ghost? I don't know what she is. Let's talk about this in the morning. Right now I'm taking a hot shower and going to bed. Sure, sure. I'll hold the fort. Ugh. You can almost understand what they're saying. Poor deluded man, enthralled to a madness that even he could not explain. A madness called the Countess. I... I know you. We have spoken before, but it is not important. But hush, aren't you tired? You need to rest. Tired? Shh, just sleep. That's it, sleep. Tomorrow you will wake up energized and refreshed. You will not remember me, but don't worry. We will meet very shortly. Good morning. You're perky today. Sleep well? Yeah, I did. I've been thinking. Too much has happened for this to be mere coincidence. What do you mean? In the gallery, there was a painting. A painting of her. Really? I knew it looked familiar, but I didn't recognize it until now. What did it look like? Why don't we head over and you can take a look for yourself. Alright, just in case this is getting super long, I will see you guys in the next part.